And I'd like to thank everyone for joining me here in our virtual studio. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body. Tucking the tummy in at the navel if that feels good. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Slightly gazing the eyes downward or closing them. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath fills within the body as we breathe our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. Our thumbs are touching the sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, flowing into a seated salute, fingertips flows up towards the heavens and our salute, our palms are together. Heart chakras open, chin is out. As we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, lifting those shoulders upwards towards the ears, filling that spinal cord longing. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room, You'll notice your heart chakra, your chest comes up further as we allow that chin to lift upwards. You may feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth. As we gaze over our right shoulder, we are in our seated twist, optioning to connect that left hand to that right knee to go deeper in that twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. Palms are outward towards the side in our star. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder, spinal twist, opposite side. Optioning to connect that right hand to that left knee, coming deeper in that twist. Relaxing and soothing that spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Coming into that extended mountain. Exhale to salute, palms together. Breathing down to prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from our ears. Gazing down as we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Two more breaths. Exhale, come into a bound position, either diamond or butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are connecting. This here is a hip opener. We're using this pose to relax and soothe. To check in with our inner thighs here. Connecting the hands to the feet. If that feels good, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Allowing the torso to come downward towards the earth. Shoulders melt forward. Head melts down towards the feet. Tucking that tummy in at the navel. We're going to relax and soothe here. Three more breaths.
two breaths. Exhale back up to our diamond and our butterfly. We're going to flow into a bound cow pose. Allowing our heart chakra to open. Chin is up. Head relaxes between our shoulder blades. Tummies are tucked at the navel. Two more breaths. As we flow to our cat, chin comes to clavicle. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Tucking that tummy in at the navel. Cat pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to cow. Flow into cat. Coming to our diamond or our butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs in. Coming into staff pose. Straightening our legs side by side. Our toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Relaxing our palms at heart center. We are in our staff pose. Pray our hands as we are gaze forward. Breathe in. Exhale. As we hinge at the hips, coming into that seated half forward fold, we are in prayer hands or we can relax our palms downward or we can breathe our palms downward towards our ankles or the bottoms of our feet to come into a complete forward fold as our shoulders melt forward, head melts downward towards our knees. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to our staff pose, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our hands and our knees, tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. We're going to drop down to our cow, allowing that tummy to sink downward towards the earth. You'll feel this sunken spine here. The spinal cord sinks downward towards the earth. We are in that cow pose. Chin is up. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. This pose here is good for low back pain. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, breathing our chin to clavicle. Tummies are tight, tuck inward. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Exhale into cow. As we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Coming back to table as we breathe our right leg towards the back. We are working on strengthening and balancing here. And we're going to pause that right leg up and down. Now we're working on that gluteus maximus, rounding and lifting. Gaze forward, tummies tight, four breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, we're going to extend that left arm forward. So right legs to the back. Left arms forward, we are in that full sunbird. Gaze forward as we balance and strengthen here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe that left leg towards the back, nice and high, feeling that stretch. Balancing here, lengthening. As we pulse that left leg up and down, working on rounding and lifting the gluteus maximus opposite side, gaze forward. Two more breaths, pulsing that leg up and down. We're going to find our pause, extending that right arm forward. Left arms to the back. 
Gaze forward, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Optioning to walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Exhale, lean forward, high plank, building strength in the upper parts of our bodies. Tummies are tight. Exhale down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale the sphinx pose. pose coming on to our tummies. We're on our forearms. <sighs> Our shoulders are not shrugged. They are away from the ears, having control of that body. That chin is up. Allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Flow into our baby cobra, We're bringing our palms on the earth next to our chest. Slightly bending those elbows. Here we are in that baby cobra. Chin is up. Stretching those elbows, coming into that cobra. This is a deeper back bend. Untucking those toes, coming to up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our hands to our feet, as we walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold, head melts down. Allowing our hands to touch our ankles or the yoga mat if that feels good. This here is a full body stretch. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gaze forward, backs are straight. Two more breaths. As we yogi walk the feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Nice and wide legged, if that feels good. We're gonna flow back down to a complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles. Optioning to flow into a rag doll, connecting the hands to the elbows, allowing the head to relax down. Four breaths. Mm. Rocking or swaying the body from side to side, if that feels good. Finding our pause at center, half forward fold. As we connect the left hand to the right ankle, crossing this right hand behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle, and we're gonna gaze over our right shoulder. Cross body, spinal twist. Three more breaths. Exhale into center, half forward fold. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, wrapping this left arm behind our backs, how we doing our thread the needle. As we gaze over that left shoulder, recline spinal twist, opposite, I'm sorry, cross body spinal twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, complete forward fold. Mm -hmm. Optioning to flow into a rag doll, 
or rock, rocking or swaying the body from side to side, four breaths. Come into half forward fold, walking our hands forward, bringing our feet together, down dog. Breathing our right leg up in the air, three-legged dog, right side, feeling that stretch, gazing back at the foot. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, right knee to elbow. Feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Mm. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog if we choose. Finding pause, we're gonna breathe that left leg up in the air, three-legged, dog, opposite side. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, gazing back at our feet. Optioning to pulse the body up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good. This here is a headstand prep pose. Four breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to flow into a puppy pose. But ox is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, coming into that extended puppy pose. Allowing that forehead, third eye chakra to connect to the yoga mat. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward, eyes gaze down. Relaxing and soothing, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together and flow in our palms over our head and prayer hands, puppy pose. Two more breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Three more breaths. Breathing our palms back in front of us, extended puppy. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. Doing, doing five spinal waves. Using the wave to relax and soothe and decompress that spine. Feel in the body, low like water. Wave it. Moving and circulating the energies throughout the spinal cord. Three more waves. Mm. We're going to find our pose at the table. Tabletop pose, palms are flat on the earth, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. 
Coming back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming on to our buttocks. Just for a second, we're gonna flow onto our backs. Breathing our knees into our chest, knees to chest pose. Hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt towards the back. Eyes are gaze down and closed. Two more breaths. Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Toes are pointing upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Reaching our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs. As we breathe our legs to our torso. Legs to torso stretch, buttocks come slightly off the earth. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. <sighs> Allowing our legs to become wide-legged. Breathing those legs slightly apart. You'll feel this in your inner thigh. <sighs> we can option to connect our hands to our toes. If that feels good. We're going to hang out here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing the legs back inward, hugging the knees into the chest, allowing the knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, knees relaxes to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder, feel the next spinal cord twist and relax. We can option to straighten that top leg out towards the side if that feels good. Or we can keep both knees together as they're twisted to the left. Whatever you choose, solid meditation, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Breathe in. Exhale, knees flows towards the right. Recline, spinal twist, opposite side, knees to right. Left arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. We gaze up at the heavens or we gaze over that left shoulder. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Eyes are slightly gaze downward. We can option to straighten that top leg out towards the side if that feels good. As we relax here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. And exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we lift this left foot up and crossing this left foot over that right thigh, that right knee, we are in our reclined pigeon. We're going to use our hands to breathe our legs closer towards our tummy, towards our torso. Here in our reverse pigeon, we're relaxing and soothing. We are also stretching the muscles in our buttocks here. So feeling that stretch and that gluteus maximus muscle. As our shoulders relax back into the yoga mat, eyes are gazed down. Two more breaths. Exhale. 
Exhale and back to knees to chest. Breathing that right leg slightly up, crossing his right foot over that left thigh. Reverse pigeon, opposite side. Using our hands to bring our thighs, our legs closer towards our bodies. You'll feel this stretch here in that gluteus maximus. Feeling that stretch. Shoulders are melted back. Eyes are gazed down with a close. Two more breaths. Uncrossing that leg, coming back to knees to chest. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on a wall. Breathing our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Exhale, knees to chest. Keeping our knees in the air, feet are flat on the earth. We're going to work on our bridge pose here, working on that bridge. Placing our palms on the earth next to our buttocks. Using our feet to lift our pelvic bone, our hip flexors off the earth. Feeling that lift, that gluteus maximus muscles get nice and tight. We are lifting and rounding here in our bridge pose. Optioning to bring our hands underneath our backs, underneath our buttocks, interlacing our fingers. As we walk our shoulder blades closer towards our spine, our chest comes higher in the air. We are now in our deep bridge. And you'll feel that gluteus maximus get even tighter, rounding, lifting, feeling that squeeze. And we can pulse the body up and down, pulsing that gluteus maximus up and down. Or we can just squeeze it up nice and tight and squeeze it and hold it and fill in the burn. Whatever feels good for you. And our bridge pose, we're going to freestyle six natural breaths. Mm. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. We're going to do a bonus of two more breaths. Bringing that body down and pulsing that gluteus maximus up nice and tight. Squeezing it, feeling the burn. Uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders. Buttocks come down to the earth. Breathing the knees into the chest. Hugging them in. Breathe in, exhale. Feeling the shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat, becoming one with the earth as we extend our legs up in the air. Reaching our hands to our toes, our legs come closer towards our bodies. Widening our legs, coming into that wide-legged reclined stretch. Feeling this here in your inner thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing those legs back in, legs on a wall, invisible wall. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Breathing our knees into our chest, crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to work on a boat pose, feeling this abdominal crunch, lifting our bodies up coming off the earth, coming into a boat pose. As we come up, you'll feel those abdominal muscles squeeze tightly. Tummies are tucked and tight at our navel. Legs are out towards the side, palms are beside our legs. Or extended bow, arms are up in the air. Backs are straight. This is what keeps us up. If we should bend our backs, or if our posture isn't straight, we may fall over. Gaze forward, four more breaths. 
two breaths. Breathing our knees inward, connecting our hands to our feet. Keeping those backs nice and straight. Opening up their heart chakra a little more. Chin is up. As we extend that left leg out towards the sides. And that boat pose variation. You'll feel this behind your legs, here in your hamstrings. Feeling that stretch. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing that left leg back in, extending that opposite leg out towards the sides, feeling that stretch. You'll feel it here in the hamstrings. Chin is up, heart chakra is open, backs are nice and elongated. Two more breaths. Exhaling that right foot back inward, extending that left foot out to the side as we breathe that right foot out to the side. We are now in that full boat pose variation. They also like to call this bear pose when a bear has their feet and their hands. As we are gaze forward, four breaths. Two more breaths. Optioning to bring, as we bring our feet and we're coming into a bow position, diamond or butterfly. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. We're going to flow into a cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our diamond or butterfly as we hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to lean forward. Head melts downward towards the feet. Option to extend the arms in front of us, flat on the earth. And you'll really feel this in your inner thighs here, your hip flexors when we bend, when we hinge forward. So be mindful of how it feels and only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. As we gaze our eyes downward or close them. Four more breaths. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Two more breaths. Lifting our bodies back up to our diamond for our butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs inward, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming on to a table, hands and knees. Dropping down to cow, feeling this in your lower back. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table. As we lift this right leg up behind us, feeling that stretch. And we're going to breathe this. Right foot forward, we're gonna come into that pigeon pose, breathing that right foot forward, crossing that right foot in front of our bodies. So our right foot's in front of us and our left leg is towards the back, here in that pigeon, using our palms to keep our torso away from the earth as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. You'll feel this in your spine, two more breaths. Gaze them back to center as we gaze over our left shoulder. Tapping our left hand onto the backs of our left leg as we gaze over that left shoulder. If all feels well, we're going to flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid. Lifting our leg up and connecting our feet to our hand or cuffing our foot. Cuffing that foot in the elbow or the wrist of the hand. Or we can option to use a yoga strap. So king pigeon's feet are, foot is behind us. Mermaid foot's off to the side, legs off to the side. Heart chakra's open, chin is up.
two more breaths, King Pigeon Mermaid, four mermaid. Exhale, relaxing that foot, straightening that foot, both palms are in front of us, flat on the earth, gaze over that right shoulder, feel the next twist. Exhale, back forward, we're going to flow down to a sleeping pigeon, crossing our hands in front of us, if that feels good, forehead relaxes downward towards the earth, shoulders melt forward, eyes gaze down, four breaths. Two more breaths. <laughs> Exhaling up, using our palms to push our torsos away from the earth, coming out of that sleeping pigeon, untucking that back foot, lifting our bodies, breathing that right leg towards the back down dog. Hmm. Breathing that left leg up, come into that three-legged. As we breathe that left foot forward, pigeon pose opposite side, crossing that left leg in front of us, right leg is straight out towards the back. Pigeon pose opposite side. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, gazing over that right shoulder. Placing the right hand on the back of the right leg as we gaze over that right shoulder. If this feels well, we're going to flow into a king pigeon or a mermaid, lifting up that right foot, connecting that right foot to the hand, or cuffing it in the elbow or the wrist, coming into that mermaid as we bring that leg slightly outward towards the side. So mermaid or king pigeon optioning to use a strap to get us in these poses. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing that right foot, twisting the body forward, palms are on the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Exhale, back forward, flowing into a sleeping pigeon, crossing the palms in front of us, stacking the hands as our shoulders melt forward, eyes gaze down, four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly awakening from that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our torsos away from the earth, untucking that right toe, that right foot. As we push our bodies up, breathing that left leg towards the back, down dog. As we spine away from an up dog position, using our bodies to wave that spine. Spinal wave in three breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause, dropping down to our knees, crossing our feet and our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose of choice. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. Cross the mind, legs on top of each other, feet are outward towards the side. Tummies are tight, spinal cords nice and elongated, meaning I'm not sunken, having a nice elongated spine. Shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Breathe in deeply. And exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how we feel within our bodies. Optioning to wrap up with the blanket if that feels good for you. Mm -hmm. As
as we take nice, subtle breaths, feeling our bodies wind down from our practice. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that salute. Heart chakras open, chin is up, shoulders flows up towards the ears. Allowing that right ear, allowing that right hand to come downward towards the earth. Right palm connects to the earth as our bodies lean towards the right. Left arm flows over the head, slightly gazing up at the heavens. Allowing that right shoulder to relax downward towards the earth. Tummy's tight. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Left palm comes downward towards the earth. Right arm flows up above the head as the body leans towards the left. Feeling that spinal, feeling that side bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Left arm, left shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth, coming deeper in that side bend. Two more breaths. And exhale and back to center. Both palms are on the earth. As our palms connect to the earth, May we use this time to tune into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us and how we feel during our session. Being aware and being mindful of how we are, where we are, without judgment, just simply noticing. Always remembering to be kind and loving to oneself. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feel the shoulders relax down. Lower the palms above the head. Seated, salute. Exhale to seated, extended mountain. Palms are separated. Twisting the body towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder. Three breaths. Eyes are fluttered down. Two more breaths. And exhale back to center, flowing into that star. Palms are slightly outward towards the side. Twisting the body towards the left, palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Soothing and relaxing, three breaths. Eyes are gazed downward, two more breaths. Exhale back to center, flowing into that seated star, flowing into that extended mountain. Exhale to seated salute. Breathe down to prayer, palms come heart center, relax in the shoulders, downward away from the ears. As we thank ourselves for practicing self-care here today. For in a busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. As we all know, self-care is a necessity. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Well,